Hey everyone, Mountain Wildman with you again. Uh, doing a quick review on Daryl Ralph Mad Max 5.5. Actually, this is the HTM DDR Mad Max 5.5. I picked this up in a trade off of Blade Forms, and it's awesome. This is such an awesome knife very low riding pocket clip. When I have this on in my pocket you almost can't even tell there's a knife in there besides the clip sticking out. It is all titanium frame both sides with a uh, textured carbon fiber scale to add some grip to it as well as style. And deployment pretty quick. It's a manual, it's not assisted but if you get your, you can't flip it with a finger top as nicely as some of the other folders I have, like my Hinderer or my Zero Tolerance. But this one does deploy fairly quickly, and lockup on this is 100% rock solid. But you got to get a good, good amount of your finger on there, fingertip. Hey, it worked. I guess I'm loosening it up a little. This was, uh, best I could tell, brand new when I got it in the box. And uh blade is actually five and three eighths long. Very sharp on one side. This is a false edge, it's not sharpened. Uh and obviously very pointy. I suppose if there ever were such a thing as zombies and you had to jam this through a zombie skull, you'd have no problem. This will go right in. Probably come out the roof of his mouth. But but zombies aren't real folks. At least not in the in the in the sense of how they are portrayed in the movies. I mean, uh, there is some kind of zombie lore, and I guess Haiti or something like that. But I'm not an expert expert on uh, zombies, other than the hundreds of movies I've watched. Being a zombie movie fan, anyways, enough of that. So there you are, Mad Max 5.5, awesome knife. I was considering trading or selling this, but. I wanted uh, this particular model years ago when Daryl Ralph first introduced them and he had offered at that point or was going to be offering a 7 inch blade and uh, which would probably be like a small folding broadsword practically but I had wanted one of those um, but they weren't available yet and when they were I just didn't have the money to take advantage of it but this is really an awesome knife and I think I'll be keeping this one this would be a good knife to have around I'll be moving to a state soon that doesn't have a blade limit law, so I could actually carry this and not worry about it being confiscated. Oops, see, it didn't flip all the way. I don't have to worry about confiscation or anything along those lines. But you do have to give it a good pull on that flipper to bring it out. But it opens fairly quickly considering the size of it. And uh, thickness, I'm not sure. This is just a quick video. I haven't taken measurements on you know, exact specifications for you. There it is. Mad Max, HTM dash DDR at max 5.5 all right thanks for watching mountain wild man talk to you later